Nature inspires my design. We must listen to the wind, the rain, and the sun. These all influence what a building wants to be. These buildings will do this in very specific ways. We have gardens in the sky, and every unit, every apartment has balconies where you can go outside and enjoy the breeze. You can feel the rain, feel the breeze, capture the sun. This architecture will connect you to the landscape and enrich your lives. Hi, I'm Stephen Ehrlich. We have built in many different locations, including Japan, Nigeria, and Morocco, and we're working on a project in Spain right now, and of course, Taiwan. And we feel that cultural context is extremely important because we don't think that architecture has a single answer. We think that these buildings will set absolutely the best and newest standard for this area. We totally believe in this location and this area because we see it as the new and next emerging important place to live. It is so well located, it is near public transportation, it is near the emerging high-tech area where there are so many wonderful offices and companies working. It's near the new convention center, it's near the high-speed rail. So you have so many things coming together. This will set a new standard of, of housing and living uh, for, for the future of Taipei. Welcome to our home in Venice, California. And this house really represents many of the ideas that I've been working on for a number of years, and many of these ideas I'm bringing into the project for Katang. And some of those ideas are how this house connects with nature, how the barrier between indoor and outdoor space basically disappears. And you can see here, these large doors open up, and notice the large doors at the far end, how we slid those doors completely out of the way and connect with the tree. We want to, in this new neighborhood, even though it is a high-tech neighborhood, sort of emphasize what makes a great neighborhood. And a lot of that has to do with the incorporation of nature and appreciation of the seasons. And a couple of ways that we're doing that is that even in your own individual unit, everybody has a balcony so that there, there's the ability to have plants growing right outside of your living room or your bedroom. And in fact, some of the units have two balconies, one that's more utilitarian and one that's more formal. Um, we also provide communal areas, um, such as these, what we call living rooms in the sky. And these are garden areas up at the rooftops where we'll have either swimming pools or gardens or gyms. We even have a racetrack, a running track above that uh, knits together two of the buildings. You can see here that these, all of these buildings are creating a very special outdoor space. And so that, in a sense, it's almost like a protective view. But it's also about uh, providing the people inside with a view of the city and of nature and of the garden that we create, but also the, the landscape beyond. We wanted this project to really stand out, and we want to create an instant landmark as soon as the project is finished. One of the ways we're doing that is we have what we like to call lanterns. Each of the buildings has the lobby in frosted glass, and this frosted glass will be glowing at night. For example, these elements right here. So these will glow at night and really announce to the entire city of Taipei.
often buildings are very static and symmetrical. This is just a little diagram of a tower that would be symmetrical and static. And our idea is that we're taking these portals and creating compositions that actually create what we call asymmetry, non-symmetrical, but lots of movement and energy. Let me just turn that around for you. These are just little sketches, diagrams, if you will. This being the ground level. Here's someone standing. That's the ground again. And we believe that contemporary life is more energetic. We believe that the people who are living in this new project will be uh, incredibly youthful and energetic and, and uh, what we like to call in the U.S. movers and shakers in the, uh, in the business world. And uh, this is all being symbolically embraced in the design of our project. So you can see this connectivity with the landscape, with nature, the fusion of indoor and outdoor space. This is all very important. And these ideas that I've developed in this house, I am bringing to Taiwan for the first time in your project. And this is what's so exciting for us, that we can take so many of these ideas developed here in California during really a 25-year career, now can encapsulate them and bring them into a new environment, bringing in new ideas and combining some of the ideas that I've developed here, fusing them with cultural uh, context in Taipei. We're very excited about it.